Hello and welcome to episode 48 of my Solace Crafting Tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on upgrading all my skills to level 20 uh, and well with my adventuring skills, um, my crafting and harvesting skills I need to put points in them as well. Upgrading my armour um, I believe I've got enough rare materials to do two pieces of armour the rest will be uncommon and I'll be doing a rare weapon but I want to unlock a new rare weapon and lastly doing my tools with uncommon iron I haven't found no rare iron yet um, but that I presume I'll find in a deep mine so if there's time I'll do a little bit of exploring deeper in a mine uh, to show you hopefully the new creatures you will discover in there right so let's get started so I've been doing the chests like I like to do um, so I'm getting, I've got them done so let's start by doing my uh, skills yeah this all starts with your skills so I've reached level 20 uh, adventuring which means I can do my attributes first uh, so I've got 54 points what's that divided by 3 um, 17 oh. let's see nearly 20 points so it's going to be about 18 points in each one 54 yeah 18 points so I could do my agility I could change things up a bit because that does give me energy regen and max energy and health and it does give me dodge and block and parry but this has all been wasted because I don't have physical damage or physical skill range so no I'm going to stick with what I've got actually I seem to be surviving fine so 18 points one two three there you go and my intelligence take that down to 18 and my wisdom okay so that's all my attribute points spent next let's have a look at my adventuring so I'm gonna leave these two I could perhaps just put them to 20 how many points 54 so I'm put that to 20 and that to 20 so that's going to use 20 mana and so is that um, I want to do my disciple skills and because I'm using Fred cloth armor I decided I want to pump up my ward because that gives me uh, not my ward sorry apologies my where is it this one my protect because that gives me armor to make up for the cloth arm, bread armor that I'm wearing and it will increase in duration so that and see that uses a ton of mana the rejuvenate where's the heal I might put some more points in that so I could save 12 points so let's put 40 points uh, this is also a good one and I did want to do um, energy I don't need um, let's just check actually I might want to do clarity increases your mana regeneration so maybe I could put 12 points in that that means I'm gonna have to use take one of these out which is a nuisance I might take these. Mm, I might take the regeneration out. 
the ward or might or maybe I don't need to use the ward if I put enough points so let's see 40 points I want to put into this protect this is going to be sick isn't it oh maxed it out right well it cost me 42 mana well it's going to last over three minutes or four minutes to 44 minutes and look at that armor let's see how effective this is um, I might need to get into alchemy eventually if I've done this all wrong i.e. I'm still getting whacked hard I might need to reset all my points but for now that's okay now let's see about the mana regen so the next one will give me 8.65 but it's costing a lot of mana to cast it and duration 90 100 seconds so I don't know it might be good let's pump some points into it right okay so we're going to regen 19 mana for 190 seconds um, where do I want to put that which skill do I want to yeah so this rejuvenate <coughs> is a bit slow it, it doesn't heal that many hit points so I would prefer to put my ward on number 5 let's put that there actually no mm, yeah I'll keep that there right okay so that's my adventuring points spent next harvesting I've got points to spend in that so I'm going to carry on with the strength in each crafting and this is why I wanted to do the skill points before crafting anything because I'm now going to get the benefits of the extra armor it's not a great deal but it's still something I'm not really using anything lever working but I'll spend the points smithing very important because I can do this my tool damage so all points have been sunk into that. Once this reaches 100, then I will sink all my points into that. And there we go, so it's a little bit more damage for my smithing tools. Um, woodworking, this will affect, well, I want to unlock a weapon, so a new weapon. So I've got two more staffs, Staff of Charming and Staff of Light. So let's, s I haven't got that many points to spend, mind you. Ah, there we go. So now, ah, oh, no, I haven't got enough points to unlock the rare. That's okay, I'll do that, Staff of Charming, in the next episode we'll have a look at that. For now, let's put the points in there. So, yeah, see, I've got rare wood. So, really, I want to unlock the rare, which is one more point in woodworking. So, for now, though, I'll just make the moon star because I think that was better damage than my other staff and of course I've sunk them points in there so I've got 2.1 extra magic damage right so let's carry on yeah well that's it they're done right so now and I do want to get into alchemy but I want to get lots of gems from the cave first so okay now we go to crafting and let's start with the armor which is tailoring 
and I want to do so tier 3 let's remove the tools so I want to do the cleric no yeah cleric I didn't unlock the mage jacket yet cleric jacket and so this can be I've got f oh I need to do the materials next so right okay like I said I've only got 38 rare the rest will have to be uncommon so let's refine that and I need to do the wood so I've got What did I do with my rare? I bet I've dropped it on the floor somewhere. Yeah, probably. Probably just dropped it on the floor. Oh no, there it is. Phew. Right, okay, so I've got my rare wood. Put that in there. So this weapon I'll make out of... I won't know. No, I have got enough rare for both. So, okay, let's refine that right now I can cr start creating so crafting armor do a cleric jacket and I can do rare and I want it to be level 20 and tier 3 could change the colour I guess to that it's rare I'll just stick with that I'm not really fussed about the colouring right okay so there double check 20 tier 3 rare okay we got a cleric robe let's do the mage gauntlets I've got just enough for them Right, amount of rare resources now uncommon. So I need boots. I've got gauntlets, need a helmet. And leggings. Oh, starting to drop it on the ground now. Uh, right, so let's put this stuff on. Oh, I should have put these materials in my bag first. Let's just free up some space oh, I better keep that out let's grab this ok so let's check what my armour is my armour is 41.7 so it's it's better it's a considerable bit better but it is only thread armor cloth armor so it's not going to be fantastic okay let's do my weapon next oh no it's woodworking isn't it and Oh, I've got two staffs. I forgot about that. Let's have a look. So this is going to be rare. God, look at the damage on that. 66.7. What's this? 62. So this is the bet. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not, I'll do the staff of charming. Oh, no. Go on. Let's have a look then. 71. Yeah, there you go. So that's the best one. I did want to name it though in an episode so people can see the different staffs. I've done the diviner's staff. Is there a huge difference? There's only four difference. So yeah, I'll do this moon staff and in the next episode I'll make the staff of charming. I'll settle for a moon staff for now. That'll do me. Do nicely. Right. Craft that. I've still got enough rare wood to do the 
staff are charming we'll have a look at that in the next episode uh, right inventory let's check my damage so magic damage 56.4 79.6 right okay cool this stuff I'll need to put in a chest uh, and an enchantment table really I need to do let's make a chest quick Keep doing. Oh, let's use my rare wood up. That'll do. I'm just going to plonk it down here for now. Call that schematics. No, no. What am I talking about? Um, Right, there's, there's a creature nearby, I think. Um, oh, I need to do my tools. Oops. Right, let's do my tools. All takes time, all of these upgrades, but it's it's just wonderful. It really is where Solace Crafting shines. I don't want to use it all up. Let's do that. Right, crafting, smithing. Let's see how much better they will be than what I've got. So, uncommon and level 20. Okay, I'd like to find rare, but I haven't found it yet. Right, so we need a hatchet. skinning knife and a sledgehammer right let's have a look see how they how much of an improvement they are so if we look at my sickle it's 32 strength this one 41.9 yeah so great improvement there so let's equip all of this Oh, that you see, I lost the rarity of it. Never mind. Um, it doesn't matter. I won't be using this stuff anymore. It's a shame because they've got free slots for enchanting, so I can put that in the enchanting chest just to practice on. Maybe I don't know. Let's see. Put them in there. Right, yeah, so now I just want to test out. Let's see what I'm hit without any bucks. Where is it? This way. Here he is. So I'm just going to see what I get hit for. 58. Wow. That is a lot of damage. So my armor is. I dodged. But my armor's not great. So now with my buff. My. Uh, where is it? Which one's seven? <laughs> 20 so mm, still not good enough I should have sunk it in the ward at ah. 40 points let that be a lesson to you choose oh. the ward over the armor ah. because with the ward you don't take any damage yeah if I if I could re uh, I'm gonna have to do alchemy now because I want to reset the points that I've put in there oh. It doesn't last long though because I didn't put many points in it. 
Oh well, let's kill this sucker. Oh, there's the timer. So yeah, <coughs> where my advice is, put your points into the board. I can kill them though quick. I mean, that was just me standing there taking the hits. And I have got my mana regen now. Or if my heals use up too much mana. It does take a little while though, before you can heal. Uh, use it. Right, okay, the timer's gone. In the next episode, we're going to go into a deep area of a cave. I wish I hadn't have put my 40 points into this. Into that. That's a bit of a waste because it doesn't really appear to give you the proper protection. Um, whereas the ward, it does. It just physically takes the damage away. It's fantastic. That's what I should have done. Never mind, I'm going to have to do an alchemy episode on resetting all of these skill points to put them in there. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.